So my name is Anthony Brown. I'm the CEO of Amped. Um, at, basically, Amped is the picks and shovels play for esports. It's the infrastructure side of things. This is the platform that everything needs to to run on. So let me uh, get started. We only have 10 minutes to go. There we go. So this is the obligatory visionary statement. Um, you know, it does describe what it is we do, but in reality, the big picture, we want to build the oasis. Anybody here read Ready Player One, seen the movie? Show of hands, anybody? There's a couple out there. Well, in the movie, the Oa in the in the movie Ready Player One, or in the book, um, the oasis is that big virtual world where everybody can can uh, all come and interact together. To be able to do that, we require a whole new infrastructure, something that we don't currently have. Amazon Web Services is not going to be able to run the Oasis. Neither can Azure Cloud, neither can Google. We need new infrastructure to be able to do that, and that's basically what AMP does. So how do we know that the Oasis is coming? There's some pretty big tre trends that are indicating this. First one here is the data. We have 44 trillion gigabytes coming. This is as of next year. That's a huge, just zettabytes is now how we're measuring the amount of data that we're getting. The devices, there's 50 billion smart devices in our, that are now connected to the net. The, uh, as far as the digital experience and AI and, uh, and how customized all of that sort of stuff is, is becoming required to be able to do this stuff. These are all the trends showing that these types of things, the virtual reality, AI, machine learning, IOT, augmented reality, all that fun stuff, and the first guys feeling the pinch, eSports. So there's this, this meme, I don't know if you guys have heard this before, called Shooting the Tree. There's a company called uh, PUBG that came out with a game, huge game, giant game, millions and millions of players. They're based out of Korea. Now in Korea, you get gigabit to your house, right? That normal. They came to North America, they said, oh, we'll just put it up on the cloud. We'll just running on Azure. Well, what happened was, is you'd have these players shooting each other, you know, shooting at each other, and nothing happening, nothing happens. And then the tree that had been in the way the whole time would finally render. And that's, that's how the meme shooting the tree came about. And that's the problem that eSports in North America and Europe face. The infrastructure is just not there. If you want the real eSports experience, you gotta go to the, the land cafes and the eSports stadiums and that sort of thing, right? But it is coming, and we're building it. So, ah, oh, press hard. So we've already been at it for a while. We've been in this in this industry for about 20 years. We have a few customers you may recognize on the on the list there: Bandai Namco, Sega, Capcom. These are all existing customers of Amped, but they're not the only ones that are feeling the pinch. It's also happening in Industry 4.0. It's happening in, in animation and VFX. We are members of the Canadian Digital Technology Supercluster in. Um, Vancouver, in fact, founding members. We sit on the board, also on the executive committee, and we're working with guys like Boeing and Avcor. We announced our first big project with them where we're doing a digital twin of one of their factories. Uh, so it's not only esports that, that's feeling the pinch for high performance computing, but they're the first guys that are feeling that pinch. Right? So why do we go for games first? They're pioneers. They're the guys that really work on all the human compute interface technology that we're getting used to today. They're, they're the guys that drive the use of mice, the swiping and, and visualization, being able to do uh, facial recognition, all that stuff. AI, that's all being driven by the video game industry. And they're the guys that are noticing, and the, the players, I mean, I don't know how many of you guys have kids that are esports players who complain about their 40 millisecond or 50 millisecond ping. All of that sort of stuff is caused by this lack of infrastructure that currently exists in North America. So imagine, if you will, for a second, the eSports complex of the future. Uh, you're going to have virtual reality, you'll have eSports happening in there, and the infrastructure that's in there will not only service those players, but will also service the surrounding area. What you need, the, the challenge that you have with all the main cloud guys out there is that it's software switched, software firewall, distributed storage, big giant 100,000 square foot data centers that have to service very large geographic areas. The only way to solve that is to have metro data centers, data centers in every major city. Each one of those data centers has to have high performance computing inside it. 
and then all of those data centers get networked directly to each other, not over the internet, directly to each other. And then you've got yourself a low latency network to play this stuff on. So the problem with that, and we've seen this happen during the uh, crypto craze, was it's not very green. Uh, that's a lot of power that you're sucking up to be able to do your crypto mining, and it's a lot of power that gets sucked up to do this kind of compute as well. Um, and the challenge means that you have data centers that get built in Iceland, data centers that get built where the cheap power is and where it's colder. Well, that doesn't work here. We need to be in metro centers. So how do we solve that problem? Well, we've built our first data center in Vancouver over on West 2nd in the Waterfall building. That waterfall that's out in front of the, the uh, data center there that we that you see on this picture, that's data center water. We actually generate clean drinking water from our condensing systems for our cooling systems. We also then repurpose all of the heat that, that, gen that is generated in that data center to heat the rest of the building. This is a multi-purpose building. It has restaurants, shops, condos. The whole building can be heated by that data center. If you, now, this is just a proof of concept data center. It's only 200 kilowatts. Um, but if you build a proper you know, 5,000 square foot data center at up to five megawatts, you can heat several blocks around. You become a municipal utility. Not only is that green, not only does that help the environment, but it also drives your operating costs down and drives the cost of your power down and makes it viable for you to be building these metro data centers. So there's us on the supercluster. That's me in the vest in the middle there, trying to dress up. Um, so this is, a great, this is a great initiative. It's done by the federal Canadian government. It's a billion dollar project where they have five uh, superclusters across Canada. The one in Van Vancouver is the Canadian Digital Technology Supercluster. This is all about building digital technology platforms. Uh, and as it turns out, as much as the, the founding members, of which we are one, consist of guys like TELUS, Microsoft, uh, Boeing, GE, uh, and Ampt, the token SME, um, we're the only high performance computing company there. Now there's a billion dollars that have to be spent over five years in this supercluster. We don't know exactly how much of that we're going to get, but it's going to be a pretty big chunk considering we're the only high performance computing company in the supercluster. Some of the trends that you can see in the industry, everything obviously, the, I mean, I won't spend a lot of time on this slide. Everything is trending up from the global games market, GPU computing, digital reality, these are all the areas that are going to require this type of infrastructure. Just a little bit about us. There's me at the top. I'm, uh, I was the, uh, I'm the CEO and co-founder of, of uh, Amped, but I was also the CEO and co-founder of Seven Group, which pioneered digital media infrastructure across Canada uh, from uh, tw about 2000 to 2012. I was the CEO of IGP, the publisher of MechWarrior Online. We actually got on the other side of the glass and saw what it was like to build these platforms for ourselves. And we ran MechWarrior Online, became one of the big games of the year. We're on the cover of PC Gamer, uh, generating about a million dollars a month. Uh, and now Amped is the culmination of those two experiences, having been, been able to build infrastructure for other people, build it for ourselves, and then see what's really required to make the eSports trend and the virtual reality trend really sink. We've uh, started building out our board. Our first board of directors uh, member is Howard Donaldson, one of the founders of EA. He was a CFO over at EA. He was also a uh, founder of Propaganda Games, which he then sold to Disney, uh, and then became uh, VP of Studio Operations for Disney Interactive. Uh, so kind of a fairly big name in the industry. Uh, and we also have Richard Waller on our board of advisors. He was also my CFO over at, G, uh, at IGP, but he was the CFO of Nexon. Nexon had a billion dollar IPO, one of the biggest game companies in the world, and they pioneered free to play games and microtransactions out of Korea. And just as an add on, he was also the CFO of Apple Japan. Uh, so not, not, bad, not a bad start. We are looking for uh, some more uh, members to bring on. Uh, so now, our 18-month plan. Nah, I'm only kidding. That would take too long. So we are uh, uh, going through a financing round. Uh, we're working with Varshney Capital. Uh, the uh, current offering at $4 million, unfortunately, is already um, fully subscribed. Um, though I'm sure if you will talk to uh, Varshney Capital, they can start to talk to you about what we'll be doing next. Um, that's the initial offering. We plan on going public by end of March, uh, early April. Uh, depending on how long the lawyers take. Um, but uh, things are off to the races in a very good way. And that would be my pitch. Thank you very much. <laughs>